Hi guys, um, it's been a little while since I did a video, um, predominantly because I'm pretty lazy. Um, so yeah, I figured I'd do another one. I'm not very good at organizing my videos. I just do whatever pops into my head. Um, I'm back in Kent at the moment, South England. Um, and between houses for university um, so yeah I'll be going to my new house soon but I'm back at my parents house for the time being until I move back into the new house yeah so I'm kind of bored whilst I'm back here uh, and I f yeah anyway I figured I'd do a video um, I've got my lovely Blue Yeti microphone, which sounds good, and I figured I'd just do a sort of a little show and tell video for you guys. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, I got a bargain on eBay recently, which is this guitar. Um, let's see if I can just try it over. Yeah, you can see the case, it's a hard case with this guitar in. Let's move that up. Yeah, if you can tell, it's a Fender Strat, Mexican Fender Strat. Um, yeah, it's, what's it called, Olympic White, I think the colour is, um, with a rose ball, rose, rosewood thing, fretboard, I think, yeah, so it's the same as um, Jimi Hendrix played this colour guitar, I'm sure his guitar was better build quality than mine, but yeah, this is, I'm really happy with this guitar, <laughs> um, this guitar and the hard case that it came with, all in one, only cost me £180, which for a genuine Mexican Strat and a hard case to put it in is an absolute steal. I mean, if you bought these at retail, both of these things, they would probably cost maybe three times what I paid, uh, which is fantastic. I'm really happy. Um, yeah, so that's what I got. It's pretty beautiful. I'm happy with it anyway. I've been playing guitar for a while, um, but I've never really had such a good guitar as this. I mean, if you're a if you're a guitar fanatic, you may think, well, it's a pretty pretty bad guitar, but for me, it's great. <laughs> So yeah, um, so there's the guitar, um, I'm just going to do sort of a, a little setup thing, um, I've got a, a pedal here, this is an octave pedal, um, can I get that in screen? <laughs> yeah, this basically takes what you're playing into it. And it plays the same thing like an octave down so you can get some really uh, beefy sounds out of this it's pretty immense this isn't mine this is a friend's but he lent it to me quite a while ago and I still have it so it's <laughs> it's almost mine because I've always got it I'll just put the guitar down um, and this is, this is the amp I use, it's only a little one, it's only 10 watts, um, but it's a great amp, uh, Roland Micro Cube. Um, this cost me about 80 quid, it's got uh, plenty of settings on top, you've got, um, 
you've got the amp it kind of uh, it's got a bunch of amp settings it tries to emulate different amp types uh, so you've got like a, a, a Fender stack and a Marshall stack um, and then it's got some distortion settings um, one's sort of like really heavy metal uh, one's kind of more of a uh, oh, I don't know British it's called brick combo whatever the hell that means um, yeah that's kind of that sounds more like a sort of rage against the machine classical cl classical classic kind of distortion rather than the proper heavy slayer kind of metal um, and you've got your volume your volume and gain tone to alternate between bass and um, treble there's a few simple effects like phase effects we've got um, chorus, flange, phaser and tremolo uh, I might as well show them actually um, when I plug it in in a moment and we've got delay and reverb so it's all sort of basic stuff but it's it's nice it's a, it's a, this is a great practice amp if you're starting out with guitar electric guitar and you want an amp that sort of gives you all the basics gives you a good sound and isn't too loud for practicing then this is a great amp um, I've experienced this from my experience anyway maybe it's biased because it's mine but I really think this gives a good sound so yeah so we're gonna plug my guitar into this and then this into this pretty simple this is the only other pedal I actually own which is a um, distortion pedal it looks really cheap and crap um, and it was cheap but it's actually a pretty decent pedal it's got a good distortion sound for it but I don't really use that because this already has distortion built in and this is this is good enough uh, just for practicing anyway oh, I might as well get the power cables so what have we got here which one's this so we've got the power cable for the amp on this little tiny cables these have So we just just plugging into the back here. Uh, okay. And then we've got a power cable for the pedal. The pedal does take, like all pedals, they all take a nine volt square battery that you can stick I can't be asked to open it up <laughs> but you uh, you flick up this part of the pedal and then the, the battery goes in there it's got yeah but uh, for this I'm just gonna plug straight into here so it doesn't have to use any battery power you'll see the red lights come on and you just push it in to turn it off Okay, cool. Let's turn the volume down to zero before I turn that on. Okay. So we're gonna plug. What do we have here? Okay, so this goes into the output of the pedal. And then the output of the pedal goes into the input of the amplifier. So we're plugged in there. And then this is my crazy jack cable that I got a while ago. Still works for me. Ridiculous color. Um, so that goes into you can't really see it. That goes into this part of the guitar. 
the output of the guitar. It's not quite loud. And then this goes to the input of the pedal, the guitar input. It's got a bass input as well with different frequencies. Okay, so we're all in there. And then I'm going to turn on the amplifier at the back. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. So I turn this up slightly. So this has an acoustic setting, the amp. Um, I'm assuming, well, for acoustic, electric, electric acoustic guitars. Um, there's JC Clean, I don't know what that means. This JC Clean setting and the black panel are the, the Marshall and Fender stacks, I don't know which one's which. I personally like the JC Clean. Um, I won't show you the distortion because it's probably quite loud and I don't want to ruin the video by playing some loud stuff, but I will show you the effects. So we've got chorus here. It's not really the appropriate kind of music, but yeah. <laughs> um, who uses this? Metallica uses it in that song. I can't think what it's called now. Nothing else matters. I'm so bad at remembering songs I haven't played in a while. Similar to chorus. Um, and then we have phaser. swooshy sound. <laughs> and then there's tremolo. I've not really heard there's so many songs. I think Green Day used it in one one of those songs. You can set it at different speeds, so you've got kind of that. You can hear the dynamic going whoa, 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 whoa. You can change the speed, so you know it quite fast. Or you can have it quite slow. Okay, and then we've got delay which is effectively um, echo. The, the delay settings on this is pretty limited. You can get kind of a weird, quick echo. Or you can get a longer delay. 
reverb which is basically like uh, well it's reverb reverb reverb's the most amazing thing ever invented because it makes everything sound awesome gives you gives you a kind of a feeling like you're playing in a huge arena or something find people playing guitar really relaxing like just just playing like I'm playing now just kind of nothing amazing just kind of fiddling around playing whatever <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much all the settings. I mean, gain and volume of a uh, standard. You put the gain up and you'll get distortion. Um, put the volume up and it'll get louder. Gain makes it louder as well, but gain distorts and and volume doesn't distort. Um, and yeah, there's the uh, this pedal. If I stick the pedal on, if I turn the reverb off first. Okay, um, put the pedal on. You see, without. If I play just the open E, you get just the single note, and then when I put this on, I play the same open note. It's like it, it's a lot more deeper and more rumbly because it's it's adding another note below. This actually has its own distortion built into it as well. Um, as I say, I'm not going to turn that on because it'd be incredibly loud. Um, but yeah, you can change. Uh, the settings are kind of how much of the original guitar you want played. So I can get rid of that completely. And just have the, the octave down playing. Then it's just it's just regular guitar. And then that brings that in. Yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool pedal. I really like it. Um, so yeah, that's basically that's basically me playing guitar and showing you what I use to practice. Uh, what can I play? I don't even know what to play.
well if you like the video then like it if you have any requests I could do another video of playing an actual song if you want um, uh, I can kind of sing as well um, but I didn't really want to sing this quietly because it sounds kind of crap <laughs> You have to sing with a bit of conviction for it to actually sound good. Um, but yeah, if there's any sort of guitar pieces that you want played softly, then I can I could do that kind of thing if that's if that's enjoyable or or whatever. <laughs> enough of that. Let's put this away. Well, uh, thanks for watching anyway. Um, leave a comment if you like. Just say if you enjoy it or not. I like to know if what I'm doing is remotely beneficial to anyone who enjoys it as well. Uh, yeah, cool. So uh, I'll see you guys later.